Hey there, this is the first video in a new channel I am making where I'll be demonstrating a number of practical special effects. I figured we'd start off with a bang, so today I'm going to show you colored fire. Supplies. A fuel source, various chemicals, a utility lighter, and a heat resistant container. Safety equipment. Fire extinguisher, gloves. And since this demonstration involves fire, we're going to take everything outside. Disclaimer. This video is for demonstrative purposes only. The techniques in this video may be dangerous and I am not the best role model. Please do not try this at home. The technique for coloring fire is simple. You take a small amount of your chemical, put it in your heat resistant bucket, add some of your fuel source, mix well, let dissolve. This takes about one minute to an hour depending on the chemicals used. If I want it to burn longer, I will add more chemical and more fuel source. Lastly, ignite and stand back. For my fuel source, I use methyl alcohol because it's easy to obtain and lacks the impurities that can affect the color of your fire. For each color, I use a different chemical and I make sure not to mix the chemicals because it may be dangerous and because I may just end up with normal colored fire. We're going to start with blue. Blue is the easiest color to obtain. All you have to do is take your methyl alcohol, take your bucket, pour it in, and ignite it. And that's blue. Done. Easy to do. Green is my favorite because it's the most reliable and it looks amazing. To get green fire, I use boric acid. Boric acid is easy to obtain on Amazon.com because it is generally used as an insect repellent and also in some alternative medicines. I don't recommend putting it in your mouth though. To get orange fire, I use calcium chloride which can be found in road deicer. The difficult thing about orange fire is that calcium chloride is usually mixed with other chemicals in road deicer such as magnesium and sodium chloride which affects the color and makes it burn like a normal fire color. To get red fire, I use strontium. Strontium is available in road flares. Strontium is kind of a more dangerous chemical only because road flares also carry their own oxidizer and fuel source inside. So I take extra precaution when using road flares as my fuel source. I will be demonstrating how to color things like campfires in another video, which will hopefully be available like here soon. Maybe, maybe here. This has been a demonstration of how to color fire using practical effects. Be sure to subscribe for more practical effects in the future. Thanks for watching.